Hello Edmonton Crossroads Community Church. It's great to share with you today. I'm here in Regina, Saskatchewan. A bit different week than I was anticipating uh, when we even recorded our worship set for this morning. And I'm here in Regina because my mom has passed from this life to the next part of her journey as she has moved into the spirit world to rejoin um, the love of her life, her daughter, others, as she's rejoicing with the one who gave her reason to live and her Lord and Savior. And uh, as I was even preparing this week to share from Mark chapter 7 on uh, from walking the good road, I had read this over and I was thinking about what I would share. And today, I just want to share with you um, the concept of walking gently on the good road. In Mark chapter 7, we have people who will tell you how you're supposed to walk this good road. Um, the ceremonies you're supposed to do in the church. We have many traditions. We have ways we say this is how you follow Jesus. This is how you walk the good road. Um, you can't do this. You have to do it this way. And so often we get all um, caught up in our own traditions. And then we put our traditions onto somebody else and say, this is how you find the good road. Instead of recognizing that Creator comes to each of us and helps us find the good road. And when we are walking on that good road, we need to walk gently on that good road. To not try as uh, the separated ones did in Mark chapter 7. I read this in the worship um, set, so if you want to read it and hear it from the uh, First Nations version. And Creator sets free. Jesus says, some people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far away from me. We need to stop and understand that it's our hearts that show us how we walk gently on the good road. Jesus continues on um, and says, listen with your hearts and understand what I tell you. There's nothing you can take into your mouth that's going to make you impure. It's what comes out of your heart. It's how you share, how you love, how you walk gently on the good road that will show what's in our hearts. Though the traditions are good, they can help us, they can lead us, they can guide us, but they cannot change our hearts from within. And so the lessons my mother taught me as I reflect on those this week, as I read comments posted on Facebook, um, emails sent, things that are said about my mom from people who've known her for years. My mom was not a flashy person. She wasn't a person that was going to lead the Bible studies or stand up and preach or do any of those things. My mom walked gently in this world. She wasn't perfect. She had her own uh, foibles and things about her and her own stubbornness and her own set ways. But my mom loved greatly. She loved people. She shared our home. She invited people in and she made them part of our family. And she taught me, she taught me well how to walk gently in our world. And so that's my thought for today is as we walk this good road, we walk gently with each other. We hear each other. We accept each other for who we are, for the strengths, for the weaknesses, for our, our own issues, how we see the world. We're going to see it differently. We're going to understand it differently. Cultures will come even to Creator differently, in different ways, but we can walk gently together on this good road because it shows how we're walking gently by what comes out of our heart. And so this week, I invite you to examine your own heart. Examine how you walk gently with others in our world. This week, we have seen many people wear pink shirts to say we need to show kindness to each other and not bully each other. 
And so when the church bullies people, it's not okay. That is not walking gently on the good road. We need to find ways where we reach out with love and kindness and goodness and patience and gentleness so that we show the love of Creator pouring through our hearts to our world. Will you come and walk gently on the good road this week? Will you share with whoever Creator puts in your path? That is the call of the Gospel. As Jesus walked that way, people weren't terribly happy with him. So it's not that this walking this way will build you fame and fortune. Not at all. But at the end of our journey, the people will know and will see that we have walked gently on the good road. God bless you each one and may you just know the love of Creator.